What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we're back with another hardcore episode of Ark for you guys today. And guys, we're going to go take our Sarko out for a bit of a spin. Got to be a bit careful though, because uh, obviously hardcore mode, so one death and we're well, it, well, it's all over. So we don't really want that to happen. And I've just realised that there are lots of dead babies down here. It's not going to let me harvest them because it's PVE, I think. So it's not going to let us harvest them. What if we use our Crocky boy? I'm going to assume no. That's super annoying. I'm going to have to fix that because that's literally the whole reason why we're going about uh, breeding these guys up so we can get the babies. I don't see any other way that we'd be able to get them. I didn't even know eggs were being produced back here. I mean, I kind of did, but I, I didn't even think about it. All right, so Psycho Boy, he's got a decent amount of health, decent amount of melee damage, as you guys saw there. We were killing the Parasaur. So today, guys, we need to get a couple of other tames. I'm thinking a Dodic and a Mammoth. Something along those lines. So I thought we'd go for a bit of a swim, see if we can find an inlet into one of the islands, which I believe we could possibly find one over here. And the Sarko is a little bit faster than our Pteranodon and our Flyers. So we should be okay. As long as we don't come into contact with any like Baryonyxes or anything like that, we should be all right. As well as that, we've also gone ahead and included S+. Plus on the series as well. I've decided that I'm I'm not going to suffer with Ark's horrible, terrible building system where, oh shit, when there's a mod that will enable me to build how I want and all that sort of stuff. So I've decided to include that S plus mod in. So I've got that. Um, I haven't really learned any of the engrams yet because, well, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But nonetheless, it's going to make life a little bit easier. Uh, you know what? We could probably fl swim through the desert now that I think about it. Actually, the desert is very far away. I'm still not convinced on our base spot. And the more that I think about it, the more I want to move because I'm not a fan of having to travel so damn far to get back to our base. Um, that and I don't think there's going to be enough space for us. So the spot I'm still considering is the bridge located in the uh, Grand Canyon which is like up this way. So that's that's genuinely where I'm thinking of going, but we'll see how we go. I probably need to grab a flyer with me as well because I've just realized we're going to try and scour the whole bloody map looking for some stuff that we possibly could not even find. We're going to head back to base here. But yeah, our goal today, we're going to try and get a, a mammoth and hopefully a dodicarus. I don't know whether or not we'll be able to, but we shall see. Megalodon, stay away from me. I'm glad we have a Sarko though because it makes swimming in the ocean a little bit better and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, st I'm I'm half a mind to build a tree platform base, and the other half is deciding whether or not we want to uh, build on that bridge. So I'm going to have a little bit of a think about it. I'm going to head back to base here. Oh, yeah, because like this is really, really far out of our way. So I'm not the biggest fan of being so far away from everything, especially because, like I said, we don't need to worry about other players finding us because it's, it's PvE, so like... It's really not going to matter in the long run, so I think we might just move inland, to be honest. Alrighty, guys, and we're back on the mainland, and <laughs> look what we just found. Funny thing was, there was a purple drop, like, right there that I just grabbed. Uh, it had this Uranio saddle in it, and yeah, we've literally jumped on our surrounded and flew up the tiniest little bit and saw that guy wandering around. So, we're going to be a little bit careful. Uh, obviously, we don't want to fight a damn Giga yet. Well, I mean, ever, to be honest, but we'll probably eventually have to get around to doing it. I decided to come out here because I thought we'd be able to find some griffins. I'm hoping, maybe, possibly. I don't know if there'd be any out here, but this I know they do like to spawn around here. And I'm also kind of just considering setting up a base here. I know there's a redwood biome just over there behind the green op, and I'm honestly thinking that we're going to go for a treehouse. Uh, because we have the S plus tree platforms, which are a lot better than the vanilla ones. You can see there, we've got the S plus ones, so I'm th honestly thinking about setting up one of those. We can't build the stone one because we need fungal wood. And I think for fungal wood on, on S plus, you need to build the grinder and switch it all around. So I think we'll hold off on doing that, but I've got to be careful flying around these redwoods because there are the thylacolios that we need to be careful of. And I know that they will definitely kill us if we get grabbed off the back of our pteranodon. I've only got a pike to defend myself, and a pike's not going to be able to deal 5k damage to a thylacolio. But it doesn't look like there's any griffins around here, which sucks. Uh, 
Yeah, normally there's a couple of griffins that fly around this area, but it doesn't look like we've been lucky today. I know this is the area where um, the ice cave comes out, the ice worm queen. I'm just thinking we could use that as like a pen for our water tames. I do want to build a treehouse. I think I've made my mind up. I think we're going to go for a treehouse build this uh, this series. Hold on, let's just land over here. Okay, it's just a bunch of IGs. We're fine. 130. I mean, a bunch of IGs that are relatively decent leveled. 135. Yeah, we're going to build a treehouse. Uh, the question is where, though? I do want to see... Like, I do want to build... Oh, hold on. We got a griffin. What level are you, mate? Please be a decent level. 95. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's probably not worth taming, to be honest. I don't think we're going to tame that. Which isn't a bad thing. It just means we're going to have to be patient for the next one. I still haven't seen any Dodicaruses in the vicinity. I know the mammoths don't spawn around here, but I know Dodics tend to sometimes. We've got another griffin here. Level 90. Damn it, that sucks. Alright, I know there are thylacolios in this section, so we're going to need to be a bit careful. But yeah, the other spot we were thinking of building is this bridge. You guys probably know where I'm talking about if you've played on Ragnarok before, because it's it's nice and flat, it's really easy to build on. And like it's like I said, it's central to pretty much everything. I'm just trying to remember what side it's on. I think it's on over here. I just don't see it anywhere. I was also tempted to build in a waterfall cave, but I think we're going to go for a... A treehouse build this time around, I reckon. Wait, where is the bridge? There it is. There's the bridge. I was a little bit low. So this is the bridge spot. I'll fly is up there and we'll take a look. Just because I was contemplating it. But, um, yeah, I think I'm swaying towards a treehouse build. I think the last time we did a treehouse build was when Valgiro first dropped. And that was ages ago. But this is the bridge here. I really like the bridge because, like, it's... There's holes in and stuff in it. There's no creatures that spawn around on the bridge. You've got the snow biome on that side. You're pretty much central to everything. See here, you're almost in the middle of the map. You just stick foundations down in these parts and you can easily get across. And then over here, you've got like individual rooms that you can use or like even more base spots. So I, this place is really cool. I really like this bridge. I'm going to be careful here not to fall down these holes. Yeah, I really like the bridge, but I think we're going to go for a treehouse. All right, I'm going to look and the treehouse is actually not too expensive. We have everything we need for it. The only thing we're missing is the wood, which is super easy to get. We just take a pickaxe out and, and harvest it up. But yeah, I think we'll do that because then the st stone tree, we need fungal wood, which is annoying, but we could go about getting that later down the line. Plus, I don't think anything would really destroy a wooden tree platform. So I think we'd be okay. I'm just trying to... I should have brought the RG actually, because we can carry the dodic. I'm not seeing anything out here, though. We haven't had much luck finding... Any of the teams that we're after just yet, so... Kind of sucks, but I mean, we're just going to have to keep looking around. I'm just trying to think where else would Dodix spawn. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to fly around for a bit, and I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Alrighty, guys, we've got a Dodicarus lined up. It's just here. It's level 90. we got some RGs in the area, which I think... Shouldn't aggro on us, if we can pull the Dodic over here. I got 45 trancos, which should be enough to knock it out. I'll just have seen my crossbow's durability now, though, and regret my decision not to repair it. All right, let's get this guy knocked out. I don't think the RGs will aggro on it because it's not a corpse, so we should be okay. I don't think this Dodic will take too long to knock out, hopefully. Uh, those RGs are very insistent on getting to me, though. Kind of flying close. No, we should be all right. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I've decided on a treehouse. We're going to move everything. We're going to build in a treehouse. Probably not the most practical, but it's hopefully going to be the nicest option. Because I'm pretty sure on Valgiro, when I did build the treehouse, it was with the normal vanilla stuff. And oh my god, it was freaking terrible. It was so bad. But hopefully this time around, it's a bit nicer with the S plus stuff. Because everything should snap. And I believe, as well as that, you can get like sloped walls or something that go upwards I, I don't know it looks really cool i've seen some stuff built with it so i'm hoping that we can get something cool like that going but it'll probably happen maybe next episode the only thing we're really lacking is just the wood aspect of everything that we need we're just going to keep an eye out make sure there's nothing hostile bearing down on me because if we get caught out we are going to die and that will be the series over and we don't want that to end all right this dodic should start getting low very soon 
Yeah, here we go. So, we're just going to leave this. We're going to go find a mammoth as well. We're pretty close to the snow biome. But yeah, just being out there on that very lonely, deserted island... Probably not the smartest decision, especially when everything's on the mainland and, you know, we're going to need tames and stuff like that. It's probably just a better idea to move further inland. I don't want to go too far here. I don't want a raptor or a terror bird sneaking up on me. Ow! You wee bastard. Why did you decide to turn and fight me now all of a sudden? Just go to sleep, big fella. Alright, uh, I can't really repair my crossbow either, which sucks. So, we might have to fly back to base. I don't really want to. But yeah, I'm just honestly just dreading having to fly out there every time now. Because it's so damn far, it's just pointless. This dick. I'll tell you what, he's something else. Have I got enough arrows? I should have enough arrows. I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't curl up into its little ball form. Looks like our crossbow didn't even have enough to finish off the dodic. So here we go with a bow. Hopefully we've got... We've, oh, is he asleep? Oh, thank God. I was going to say. That's lucky. All right. So he's asleep. That's great. I just made a bow up for nothing. But yeah, we're going to need to fly back to base because there's... No way we're going to be able to knock out a mammoth with our little tiny broken crossbow. So, oh man, I'm not looking forward to flying back there. We just have to do it, I guess. We're still like so far away. Yuck. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're back and we're near-ish the Dodicarus. What I want to do is I've just found whatever's going on down here. We want to get a Mammoth, but like we obviously don't want to try... This is a 150 Chalo. And a 140 Argy, not bad. We want to get a Mammoth, but like they're obviously going to be in the snow biome, which is just up here. Now we're obviously freezing up here. So what I'm thinking we do is I'm thinking we just kite a Mammoth down the cliffside. Oh my god, of course I had to go for the 145. I didn't even realize this guy was a 145. Let's just gonna... I'm gonna try and kite this guy off the mountainside here. So that we don't have to trank him in the snow biome. Because otherwise, yeah, we're not gonna be able to tank, trank him. Because we'll be frozen to death. So if I can get this guy's attention and get him to walk off the cliff with us. That would be absolutely swell. And we've got to try and do it in a relatively safe position. So that nothing will kill it. Alright, we're still cold. Come on, big fella. It's a 145 mammoth. Of course I had to find the 145 mammoth. Couldn't have been anything else. It had to be this 145 one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, honestly, down this section here should be okay. Yeah, so we've already got rid of the ice cube. And I guess all we need to do is really... I don't like this area because I'm pretty sure there's like UDs and stuff here. The dire bears shouldn't aggro on us unless we get too close. Where did that mammoth go? We've got 70 trank arrows. I oh, Think that should be enough. I don't really want to leave flaps behind. I don't know where the mammoth went either, though. There he is. I mean, if he stays up there, that's great for us. He obviously doesn't seem too keen on moving. I don't know if it's just because he's stuck or something else, but we're just going to sit here and shoot him in the ass and pray that he gets knocked out. Honestly, I'd be pretty stoked with the 145 mammoth. I just wish we had found the mammoth first before the dodic, because... This guy! Oh, this guy is going to take a while. He's not even moving. I'm not complaining. I'm just going to stand down here and shoot. He has somehow managed to get himself very stuck in there. He did spin around and try to get down the mountainside to get to us. But yeah, he is very stuck in there. So, this is working out perfectly for us, honestly. We don't have to contend with a ma rampaging mammoth trying to kill us, or really anything else trying to kill us at the moment. Which is swell, that's that's what we live for. After this, we're going to head over to the Dodicarus. He should... Yeah, he's already... Wait, what? How has his food already drained that much? His food already has already drained, like, almost 900. So, after we get this guy knocked out, we'll get the Dodic knocked, uh, tamed up, which I did bring a stack of Mejo Berries for. About 123, I think, to be exact. 122. Oh, a couple of them spoiled. Yeah, so that should be more than enough to tame the Dodic up. And then we'll just grab some Mejo Berries for this guy. We don't really have much of a choice. We don't have Kibble or anything like that for the Mammoth. So we're just going to have to Mammoth tame the ma tame the Mammoth with Mejo Berries. And then what we can do is in between this episode and next episode, we'll get all our structures and everything ready that we need for the tree platform. And then we can go ahead and build it and move the whole base all over again. Because 
we enjoy making ourselves suffer. I don't know what side of the redwoods. I'm thinking just over on the uh, the green ob side, closer to the cliff face. I think that's where we're going to set up. I have to do a little bit of a flyover and, and take a look at some of the...
Alrighty guys, here we go. The Mammoth is coming up to almost being done. Uh, I've just kind of been babysitting it. I didn't really... I, there wasn't really too much we can do. We don't have the base set up, but there it is. And Tusker is reborn. Tuza? Tusker. I don't know if it's a male or a female. You are a boy or a girl. Male. Perfect. Tusker's reborn. So we're going to cry this bad boy up. We're going to do a lot of br farming up with these two guys. Uh, the Dodic and the Mammoth. And honestly, I'll probably leave them on the mainland. I just, we need 1,200 wood. That's how much wood we need for a tree platform. We've got the paste. I've got the metal. We've got tons of fiber. It's just the wood. We could even go for a, a stone one, but we need the fungal wood, which sucks. I kind of want to go for a glass one, but I think we'll, we'll leave it for now. But yeah, we just need to get the wood for this. So I don't know if there's going to be enough wood on our island in order to do that, which if there isn't, it's going to be really shitty because I'm going to have to ferry all the wood back and forth with the RG. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to get back to base. We're going to grind up all the materials that we need for the tree platform. And we're going to bring you guys back next episode for the building of the new base once again, setting up in our new base location. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.